you want to learn how to make this beautiful bread pudding with some caramel on top come with me i'm making it right now let's go this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need some bread i buy the one that they already cut like this to make like crostini and i like it because it's firm bread but it's also not fresh so the bread pudding comes out better like that so i just cut it up in pieces i gotta cut this one um a sweetened condensed milk can evaporated milk raisins cinnamon nutmeg three eggs salt to taste vanilla melted butter and i'm going to put some um coarsely chopped almonds i like to put any kind of nut in there but i had almonds today that's what i'm going to use and the sugar is to make the caramel i make it right here in this thing in the microwave let's get started I have the eggs and the vanilla bean paste i'm going to mix them up i just added the cinnamon the ground nutmeg the butter which is by the way was a quarter cup of butter melted butter i'm going to add the evaporated milk and the condensed milk okay now that it's all mixed i'm going to add it to the bread and i'm going to mix all that and then add the raisins and the nuts while the bread gets softened with the mixture i'm going to let it sit and get all nice and familiarized with all the flavors i'm going to soak the raisins and then wait to add that until all the bread is mixed now i like my bread pudding not not in the blender where it's all liquidated, but I also don't like to be super big chunks. I like it to have some texture in it. And while that's happening, I'm gonna make the caramel. I added, I had a cup of sugar here and add about two to three tablespoons of water and I'm gonna put them in the microwave, usually about six to 10 minutes. This is how I like it. See, it's not completely blended, but it's not super chunky. Like you can see this cubes of bread. I don't like it like that. I'm gonna add, the almonds and then i'm going to add the raisins and some of the water where it was sitting in the caramel took about seven minutes i'm going to pour it over the butter pan now that it's cool some i'm going to pour the bread pudding mixture in it i'm going to put it in an oven at 350 for about an hour i'm going to keep checking until it's nice and brown and bubbly on the top i forgot to say it's going to be in a water bath because it has a caramel okay it's out of the oven nice and brown and bubbly it's soft. I like. I gotta let it cool off, but in the fridge, and then I will flip it. Here is the finished product. Some of it got stuck on the mold, <laughs> but still delicious. Thinking of making a uh, sauce to go with it tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But here is here is <laughs> buen provecho.